Okay, we're still in the alert mode because the fact the flash flood watch still continues. We also have flash flood warnings for parts of North Carolina, which I'll show you in just a second. And also still a threat, not a, the greatest threat. At least we're lowering the possibility of severe thunderstorms. We did have a strong storm that moved over you folks in Whitmire earlier. That was out of the Weather Service office in Columbia, but that now has since expired. So no warnings. But any one of these cells are tropical in nature. If they start to get a little bit of a spin up, uh, we could possibly get a brief isolated tornado. The chances are lowering by the minute. Thank goodness. Uh, and the greatest threat for severe weather is the farther west you go toward Alberto itself. And as you can see on live Super Doppler 4 HD, these showers and thunderstorms with extremely heavy rainfall, we're getting one to two inches of rain in an hour. That's rainfall rates. So you folks in Lantern, get ready for an inch to two inches of rain in a short period of time. And unfortunately, uh, this rain is moving up into Henderson and Polk County where you don't need any more rain because you remain under flash flood warnings. And you can see the very heavy rain moving through Columbus, Landrum right now, lots of lightning, some gusty winds. And it doesn't take a severe thunderstorm, which is normally 58 mile per hour winds or greater to be classified as a severe thunderstorm. We don't need that because the ground being so saturated, just a 30 or 35 mile per hour wind gust could knock over some trees and knock down some power lines. So we have to be very careful as we go through the night tonight and during the day tomorrow even and even into tomorrow night for the mountain series. Flash flood warnings in these areas as you can see now it includes most of Buncombe County except for the extreme northwestern all of Henderson County. Uh, now for Rutherford County over into Chimney Rock and also in Lake Lure, all of Columbus County now and also in McDowell County. We've got serious flooding going on there. We had this little thunderstorm move up through the GSP National Airport, produced almost two inches of rain in just a very short period of time, caused some ponding of water and some street flooding on the intersection of I-85 and Pelham Road earlier. Look at these heavy thunderstorms right over you folks in Landrum. Uh, lots and lots of lightning. Also, look at all the lightning associated with this thunderstorm that came out of Whitmire, now moving into the town of Union. It moved right between Cross, uh, Cross Keys and also Carlisle. More thunderstorms from Bradley all the way through downtown Greenwood, all the way up uh, Highway 25 up into Cokesbury and head into the southern part of Greenville County. Temperatures 60s, 70s, and 80s, but it really feels like 80s across the entire area because this tropical air is so thick. You can almost slice it with a knife. Uh, it is extremely muggy and steamy conditions. Here's the latest on subtropical depression now, Alberto. Moving north, picking up its forward speed at 18 miles per hour. It's going to move into Tennessee here shortly. It's in northwestern Alabama. Only 30 mile per hour sustained winds, so the winds aren't the problem. Very heavy rain, though, to the south and to the west of that low. And then we have these bands of tropical bands that are moving across our area that we have to worry about. This is from the Storms Prediction Center, a marginal risk for severe weather. Across the upstate, back into northeastern Georgia and the southwestern mountains of North Carolina. Marginal meaning just an isolated super thunderstorm possible with strong gusty winds, maybe 50 to 60 miles per hour, and a slight chance of an isolated brief tornado. Flash flood watch continues for the upstate outside of the mountains until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. But for the mountainous areas, it goes until 8 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. And still with that southeasterly wind, we're going to see the upslope precipitation an additional 2 to 4 inches of rain as possible, especially in the mountains. So off and on, tropical showers and thunderstorms. Rain heavy at times, overnight low 70. We're in the alert mode for tomorrow. Muggy conditions, especially in the mountains with heavy thunderstorms possible in the afternoon. High temperature around 82. Four day plus looks like this. We'll dry out somewhat. Still a chance, but at least we're back into almost a more summertime pattern, upper 80s to around 90 Friday into the weekend with a 20, 30, 40 percent chance of mainly afternoon, evening thunderstorms.